In today's tutorial, I will cover Vision's cloud-based web portal, a unique case management system accessible from anywhere in the world to help providers generate and oversee ClearLiner cases in one intuitive platform. To log into the portal, you will type into the web browser vision.portal.softsmile.com. This will take you into your login page. You will enter your organization's credentials, email and password, and sign in. You are immediately logged into your patient's page. This is where every single case lives you will be able to scroll for the case that you would like to review. You'll be able to see the case with the patient's name, the stage or the status in which the case is in. This is the automatically generated ID for the case. You will be able to open the case immediately to begin working on it. You'll have the date of creation and when the last changes were made. You'll also be able to see who is working on the case at that specific stage. If you need to browse for a specific patient without having to scroll through, simply type in the name in the search bar and you'll be able to select the case that you would like to review. You're also gonna be able to use the drop-down menu in the Patients tab to create a new patient or simply click on the New Patient tab When you click on the new patient, you'll be able to enter their name, last name. This is the automatically generated ID, the patient's birth date, gender, patient's email and phone number. You'll have the cells where you can go ahead and select to upload the upper and lower STLs. And while those open up, I'll just enter patient name. Birth date. Gender, if you like. You'll also be able to upload patient photos. So whether they are profile photos or intraoral photos, you can choose to upload. You have also the option to upload any x-ray images like panoramic images. And so now we have our upper and lower STLs our images and we can create our patient. We can see that the case is in the pre-processing stage. We just started to upload it. We have our patient data, which we can edit if we made a mistake or a typo. We can see the patient's SDLs, the photos that were uploaded. And we can also assign personnel to work on the case at a specific stage. So in the pre-processing, I can choose who I would like to work on that case. In the setup stage, in the review stage, and in the post-processing stage.
once I open up the case, I can begin to work on it. And then it'll take me to my vision software where I can begin to work on my case. Next, we will go back to our patient's page by clicking on the arrow next to the patient's name, if we're in the case. Next, we're going to look for a specific case. And then when we click on it once, we're going to, again, see the status bar who's working on the case at what stage, and again, all the case data. But what we want to do now is uh, we want to share the case with maybe our patient. So we're going to use this share button, which will generate a copy of the link that will be active for three days. I can copy the link and then I can email it to my patient. And when my patient clicks on the link or copies and pastes the link to the browser window, it'll take the patient directly to the web viewer. In the web viewer, they'll be able to manipulate the case and review all the stages. And we do have a separate tutorial for the web viewer. I just wanted to show you how to get access to that link to share with your patient. Again, in our YouTube channel, there is an additional video for the web viewer. The next option is the review case. Review case will have the Dr. Face app feature or the web viewer feature. Now, the difference between these two is that in the Doctor Face app, the doctor will be able to open and review the case in the desktop application. So they have to have Doctor Face app installed on their computer. And that app allows them to open the case, review the case, approve the treatment plan, and send the case back to the post-processing. And it'll allow them to modify the treatment plan and send the case back to the setup stage. So again, this is required to have the Dr. Face app installed. I'm going to open that, and then we'll come back to the web viewer. So in the Doctor Face app, the doctor can easily review the case uh, and simply approve it, or ideally make modifications, uh, movements, changes to the attachments that were provided, add new attachments or delete attachments. Also add uh, bite ramps or elastics. and also add any interproximal reduction to the case. So if the doctor were to make a change by moving a tooth, change in position, then selecting the modify and entering notes or instructions for the case can be sent back. If there were no modifications, the doctor will be able to approve the case and immediately it would move into the post-processing stage.
we will have also a separate tutorial on the Dr. Face app and all the items that uh, entail the use of the application. Next, we'll look at the web viewer option. So again, this will allow you to open and review the case in the browser, and it will allow you to approve the treatment plan or simply send the case back to the setup stage. No modification can be done within the web viewer. So I'll open up that so you can see. So again, here we can review the case, review our stages. We can either select modify so it sends the case back to the setup stage or approve the case that has been presented to us. We'll go back to our patient's page. And now we'll look at the users tab where we can either create a new user or review existing users. So users are the uh, people working on cases within our organization. So this is mainly for the admin and the admin will be able to create the new user you can add a profile picture of the person, uh, name, last name, and email within the organization to have access. And when we create this user, you'll be able to add the permissions that will entail you know, what they can do within the portal. I'll share what my profile looks like. So when I say permissions, um, you can see they have the permissions that will allow access to the portal, uh, edit to their own data profile and their own password. You have the management permissions that gives access to the user list or create new users, edit the user's permissions and user's profile data and then the patient management permissions, which will allow them to create patients and cases, uh, update patient and case, and download, export artifacts, and access and edit the person who accesses the cases. And this will be, again, for the admin. We'll go back to our patients tab. And I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and thank you for watching.